Path of Titans is an upcoming dinosaur game created by Alderaan Games. Recently, there has been some new additions being added to the game, as well as some new stuff being revealed in the newest dev blog for the game. But before I get into this video, I just want to say welcome to the video. I'm Jordan, also known as Velocci. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe. Anyways, firstly, we're going to be going over the April 30th dev blog. And then we've got some stuff to talk about about Spinosaurus. So the first thing that has been revealed in this dev blog is the new or the newly added vocal wheel. The vocal wheel is essentially the emote selection for the game with different icons being different emotes and different sounds which your dinosaur can do. Rather than mapping each emote to many different keys and getting clunky over the time with no real way to keep track of those keys apart from remembering them like in the aisle, the emote system is easy. You can just press a V and all the emotes will come up and you can just select one with your mouse or scroll wheel. And this is really good for mobile game as well because it's a lot easier for people on mobile to access a, an emote wheel rather than having to click different parts of the screen to do a certain emote. Now the devs do state however that not all of these icons are for the emote wheel are ready to go into the game and they're not finished yet so expect some of these wheels to change. However the wheel is fully functioning and also now allows mobile players to access all the emotes as well as making it easier for PC players. Now I'm going to go out on a limb here to say that this is probably something you can still map to different keys like in world of tanks you can map the messages from f1 to f9 where you can do help and reloading and stuff like that and you can also put it on a scroll wheel by pressing z i assume path of titans will be probably exactly the same in terms of you can map them and you've also got the wheel. Next up we have some new map additions and these are hoodoos and geysers. The devs have been working very hard at creating new stuff to put into the ever growing and ever amazing Pandora map and well it already looks amazing and what's going to make it more amazing? Some little small details and some incredible new stuff or areas in the game which will look nice. Now obviously the hoodoos and the geysers are exactly that. They are small, unique structures in the game which spice up the map. These add more variety and interesting stuff into each biome. The map of Path of Titans will not be a desolate wasteland, which is essentially a walking simulator, but instead it will be something teeming with life, colour and things to do, which makes this game stand out from most dinosaur games in its genre. Now the geysers are one of these things and these will go along with the hot springs which were previously announced in the beginning of spring. The geysers are smaller than the hot springs but will appear in clusters near the hot springs I assume. They will also have steam rising out of them so you know when you're near geysers and ultimately near hot springs. Personally I think they look really nice and I think they'll fit nicely in the map as well. Next are hoodoos. Hoodoos are an incredible name for a rock formation I'm not gonna lie but what are they? Well these are natural real formations of rock and they are formed from erosion of soft rock capped by harder rock which erodes slower and is stronger against erosional forces. This ultimately over time creates hoodoos. These strange looking rocks will be found on the Pandora map and will be added shortly to the map exploration demo which I am looking forward to so much. Now the next two things I'm going over are going to be a little bit boring but essentially it's important to the game and I'm going to go over it anyways because it was in the dev one. The first one is going to be key binding. Essentially it was a highly requested feature to be able to rebind keys so players who weren't running on QWERTY keyboards could adjust the keys to their playstyle. Now you can rebind the keys to both keyboard and controller functions and button mapping. Players can choose up to two keys for each action and can also reset their key binds if they wish to undo them. Now the next somewhat boring thing in the dev blog but is ultimately very important is improved social features. Normal players this isn't something that you'd be like oh yeah improved social features but for server owners and people who wish to play with their friends or avoid problems with other people this is a godsend and it's very good that Path of Titans have been focusing on this so early. Now the game devs have took the time 
to drastically improve their mute, ban and invite features in the game. And although the game has yet to face any problems with toxic players, they want to be prepared and ready for them. Because every game will face these at one point and it's best to be ready rather than implement them as a cause of it happening. This helps massively to prevent online harassment and it's good the devs are taking the time to put action against this before it even happens. Inviting players to your party is clearer and the colour of the party icon changes to reflect their party status. Orange means they are not in a party and can be invited. This will be added with a plus next to their icon. Red means they are already in a group and cannot be invited. Whereas green means they're already in the group. And there's also a mute button now too, so you can just mute the chat or mute certain players if you don't feel like talking to them. Now the final thing for the map that I'm going to cover today, or the dev vlog that I'm going to cover, is Havens. What are Havens, Jordan? Well, kind viewer who probably didn't ask for that, Havens are added in the second Passover of the map. This means they are starting to polish and focus their attention on points of interest. And, well, I still haven't answered what havens are, have I? I'm gonna do that right now. Calm down, please. Havens are areas in the map which are specifically designed for smaller dinosaurs, as larger dinosaurs will not be able to enter havens. These areas will serve as an oasis for smaller dinosaurs, a safe haven where they can chill and relax with other small dinosaurs. This encourages players to try out small dinosaurs as they will be able to access areas which large dinosaurs will not be able to access and keep you safe from these large apex predators and just nuisances in the world. Sadly, however, these havens will not be a haven for everything. Well, firstly, there's no food, and secondly, there's no water. So once it's time, you'll have to venture out into the brave new world. Now it will be interesting for some type of cat and mouse stuff happening here with the large carnivores waiting outside for the little guys to run away. I don't know, that just seems fun, but it also seems like something where spawn protection might be involved. And finally, the part that you've all been waiting for is Spinosaurus is now playable in the game. Of course, I swear this is all you've clicked on it, and I swear I will remove Spinosaurus from my next Path of Titans thumbnails, because it's been in every single one of them. But Spinosaurus is now playable in the game, and it's been added into the latest test server patch, and you, you best believe that the game is already flooded with Spinosaurus. You know, you've got some people running around as other dinosaurs, but it's just Spinosaurus everywhere, and well, there are some perfect examples on that on YouTube. What's awesome about this is Path of Titan Spinosaurus already had the tail fluke, which was recently added to the description of Spinosaurus after it being re-validated and updated this year, which I think is amazing and talk about a bit of foreshadowing, eh? it's like they already knew about it. Anyways, the Spino will have a different set of skins which can be customised like any other dinosaur in the game and these are all going to look amazing on the dinosaur. The Spino has a full set of animations and sound effects and more, oh and this one can fish as well. Now. If you want to go see more Spinosaurus gameplay, I recommend you go and watch a Path of Titans YouTuber called Jin. She's made a lot of videos on the Spinosaurus already, and they're really good long playthroughs of the dinosaur feud. So if you want to see it in action over a long period of time, you can go and check out that channel and watch some of them. I'll leave them in the description below, or I'll leave the channel in the description below, so you can just head on over and check some of the gameplay out. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. What do you think about Path of Titans? Are you excited about the new Spinosaurus? being playable and the new dev blog that was released 13 days ago and I'm being a bit late to this but yeah what do you think about it and as always guys I hope you enjoyed this video this was Jordan also known as Veloci and if you do enjoy this video feel free to like and subscribe 80% of you watching this video are not subscribed so let's change that let's get that down to say 70% that's going to be our aim but yeah I hope you all enjoyed. I upload information videos on Mondays and funny moments on Fridays. And I know this isn't a funny moments video, but it's one of those weeks where I had a double upload for information videos. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you consider checking out some of my other videos. But in the meantime, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Not after